Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge broke from royal tradition when they had their first child Prince George, royal expert Victoria Arbiter told a documentary. The Duke of Cambridge reduced royal fans to tears this week after keeping his promise to a grieving schoolboy. Deacon Gover, 11, confided in Prince William last month about how he had been struggling with his mum's death. William comforted young Deacon and passed on his own experiences of tragically losing his mother. Young Deacon was wearing a Burnley FC shirt at the time, belonging to the team's goalkeeper Nick Pope. William asked him if he would like to meet the England goalkeeper, and the pair met before last Sunday's match with Liverpool. The future king was praised for his life-changing gesture as he showed just how down-to-earth he is. William and Kate have previously been praised for their parenting style, with a number of candid moments capturing just how much they truly enjoy their kids. Yet, with Prince George, they broke away from royal tradition, as explained in Channel 5's 2020 documentary William and Kate, Too Good To Be True. The documentary's narrator said, as the future king and queen, there was implicit pressure on the couple to produce future heirs to the throne. Victoria Arbiter, royal expert and daughter of the Queen's former press spokesman Dickie Arbiter, told the documentary that William and Kate. She said, historically, royal wives have tended to have their first baby within a year of marriage. Well, it sounds awfully clinical but that was never going to happen for William and Kate because the year following their wedding was the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and nothing could detract from the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. Talk about impeccable timing, in December 2012, suddenly they announced Kate's pregnant. A little over seven months later, in July 2013, the couple welcomed their first child. The new mother and father in short traditionalists were delighted by presenting George to the cameras just hours after the birth. Richard Kay, a royal expert, told Channel 5, William and Kate came and stood on the steps of that famous Linda wing of St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington, where he had been cradled as an infant by his mother, and Prince Harry too. Richard Palmer, the Daily Express royal correspondent, added that relief could be seen on the Queen's face when she was first pictured with young George. He explained, the focus of the royal family changed from being about the Queen and her children to being the future of the royal family. The documentary's narrator added that George's birth proved a milestone in modernizing the royal family. Prior to George's birth, the law of succession had been updated to reflect the changing world of the 21st century. Ms. Arbiter explained, it was exciting to see the laws in the changes of succession that determined that if William and Kate welcomed a girl first, that girl would retain her place in the line of succession versus being stepped over by a younger born brother. That was all very exciting. Of course, those changes became inconsequential temporarily because a boy was born first. But Charlotte maintains her place in the line of succession even with the birth of a younger brother. So that's an exciting thing to have come about in light of William and Kate expanding their families. Their growing brood provided a much needed boost to the royal family's popularity, as research last year suggested George is the most popular royal child on the planet. Research conducted by Design Bundles in December calculated global Google searches and Instagram hashtags for the most popular royal children in the world. George, 8, featured in almost 700,000 Instagram hashtags and pulled in some 200,000 Google searches each month. A Design Bundles spokesperson told Express.co.uk, Royal families around the world are aspirational for so many reasons, with their status, mystery, and wealth making them an endless source of fascination and inspiration. We want to know everything about them, from the brands of their children's clothes to their child-bearing habits and the ways in which their family traditions are like and unlike our own. The fact that Prince George, at eight years old, already has such a massive online influence as the world's most popular royal child, is a precursor to the fascination he will elicit as he grows up and ascends the throne. Princess Charlotte is the second most popular, with Prince Louis in third, 